If you're driving in British Columbia and you see a flashing green traffic light, it means that the intersection is controlled by pedestrians. In other words, that light is going to flash green forever until somebody pushes the button on the side, which will then tell the traffic light somebody wants to cross and within five seconds or something like that, it will go yellow and the traffic on the cross street is facing a stop sign. So it's a ridiculous intersection that's controlled by pedestrians and stop signs. And it's highly confusing for many drivers, especially drivers who may be driving in from Alberta, which happens to be British Columbia's next door neighbor in Alberta. If a driver is facing a flashing green traffic light, which would look exactly the same, except in Alberta, the traffic lights are more sideways. It means you can basically do whatever you want. You can turn right, left, or go straight. And the oncoming traffic has a red light. So obviously this is pretty dangerous if people are not aware of the differences between the provinces. And if people are just driving not familiar with this pedestrian controlled light because it's it's not really a thing in a lot of places but we have them in beautiful british columbia if you feel like you're totally confused and you don't understand this at all just picture it exactly like a two-way stop a regular two-way stop because that's basically what it is I would never really tell somebody to ignore a green light, but if you basically ignore the green light, it's basically a two-way stop. The only time shit gets weird is when the light changes yellow and red. That's the only time it's gonna get really weird. So I think what I'm gonna do is just pick on some drivers. Not because I want to be mean, but because I want to help people understand this and also understand what fails and passes a road test or what would pass and fail a road test at this intersection. And if you are brand new at driving and have no idea about right of way rules, I'm gonna try to explain it a little bit and see if I can make some sense of it all. So cars turning left must yield to cars that are going straight. So this car here would definitely fail his road test for this move because he just drove through a red light without stopping. At this time, disobeying a traffic control device will cost $121 if caught. So this truck and car both need to yield to the same traffic and there happens to be none coming so they can just turn at the same time because there's lots of room. So this little guy here at the stop sign, he has to yield to other cars that are not facing a stop sign. So he yields to them all and then he turns. So left turns yield to right turns. And cars with stop signs yield to cars that don't have a stop sign. Anyway, let me know what you think about this intersection. I'm gonna make a part two with some more violations and right-of-way stuff. I'm just gonna leave it here for now.